Hey guys, how are you doing? Today we are back with another tutorial and I'm going to show you how to create this nice glass effect on Photoshop. It's super easy, so without any further ado, let's get to it. So to create that nice glass effect, what we need to do is to create a new document. And from down here, you can just create a gradient or you can simply go to the layer, new fill layer and open up your gradient. And as you can see, it will create you some nice gradient that the color is from black to black, but uh, the opacity of the right one is basically zero. So, so if I just you know bring it up, see it will change so this is a nice one i'm just gonna create that and i'm going to put the angle to zero and now from here what i need to do is to just right click on my gradient and rasterize my layer and what you need to do is to just uh, click on this link here to just unlink the the layer from the mask and by hitting ctrl t i would just make it look like so after that, I would simply hold on option key and just create a duplicate of it like so. Again, make some more duplicates to fit the screen. It is nice. So I'm just going to select all my gradient fields and I'm just going to stretch them to fit properly. So after that, I would group all of them and call them uh, horizontal lines, maybe, and create a duplicate of it and name this one where to call lines. So on the horizontal one, I'm just gonna hit Command T and just rotate them and also make them a little bit bigger to fit the screen. So this is what we have, but I believe these are so small, so I'm just gonna choose both of them and just make them a little bit bigger, like so. I'm just gonna make them fit in the screen so well. So this is a nice one. And from here, what you need to do is to just go to the uh, file and save it as PSD file. So I'm just gonna type it glass on my desktop. I'm gonna save that and I will go back to my original photo that I'm going to add my effect. First things first, I'm just gonna type this one image, make a duplicate of it and say glass effect and make sure that it is converted to the smart object then go to the filter and filter gallery and from here what you need to do is to just open up your uh, glass effect that is on this door zoom out a little bit and make sure it is unfrosted and from here on the texture you can simply hit on this one and load your texture and i'm going to load the texture that i had that we previously saved and it is actually affecting here so if i just bring up and down my distortion you can see how smooth it can get so we're just gonna play with it a little bit scaling and the distortion so i'm just gonna make it much more distorted So I came up with something like this. So I'm just gonna hit okay. And now from here, what we can do is that we can just simply select half of our photos, something like maybe here and simply click on mask on the glass effect. So to create a mask. So from here, if you just simply unlink your uh, mask from your layer, you can simply hit command, select your mask and hit command T. And now as you can see, it is affecting different uh, part of our image. So basically, I'm just gonna make it looks like that like so and also one more thing that you can do is that you can just simply go back to your uh, lines and just for example delete your horizontal or vertical lines so i'm just gonna delete my vertical lines here and just say glass 2 save that go back to my uh, project here double click on this filter gallery and just load another texture so i'm just gonna load this one and as you can see now it is affecting like this so if i just bring down the scale you can see 
it is affecting differently so you can just go back to your glass effect and add different shapes and uh, then go back to your project and change it on your filter gallery and now from here I would just again load my glass effect and hit OK and one more thing that you can do is that you can just simply delete your layer mask and for example you can bring up your elliptical tool here and just you know choose her eye and just hit the mask button and make sure when you are trying to move your mask make sure to unlink them you know and you know just simply make this bigger smaller and I can simply you know move it around so some maybe we will something like so so that's with today's tutorial hope you liked it it's super easy make sure to check it out and if you like the video make sure to like and subscribe and peace